Hi, my name is Timur. So this is not quite what you just said. It's um, basically when the C++ committee uh, makes a new standard, we try really hard to not break your code. Um, until sometimes we do. Uh, but whenever that happens, probably your code was really, really weird in the first place. So um, this is a little summary of a few breaking changes that are going to be introduced in C++ 20 with some really weird code. Um, of course, that's all subject to change because C++ 20 the standard isn't actually out yet, so it might still change. But um, yeah, so uh, let's start. Does that work? Does that not work? Oh, it does. Let's start easy with a declaration. So this is a simple declaration. It has a type and a declarator. So in C++ 17, any declarator, you can put extra parens around it. Why not? It's just because you can. And actually, you can put even more extra parens around it, just because you can, right? Um, so you can do the same with functions. Um, so your function has a declarator. You can put some parens around it. That's going to compile. That's fine. You can do the same with structs. Um, you know, you have uh, lots of member functions. They also have declarators. You can put lots of parents around them. That's valid C++ 17 code. Now, unfortunately, in C++ 20, those two are not going to compile anymore. The middle one will. <laughs> Why is that the case? Well, so the constructor is not going to compile anymore, and the conversion operator does not compile anymore. What do constructors and conversion operators have in common? Anyone? They can, be explicit. they can be explicit, exactly. Now, in C20, we have a new feature where the explicit can be conditional. So explicit can be followed by a condition whether the thing is explicit or not, which goes into parents. And that creates a parsing ambiguity. So in order to get rid of the parsing ambiguity, we outlawed the other thing. So another thing that is going to maybe probably come in C20 is a new operator, the freeware comparison operator or the spaceship operator. Um, so that's going to be a new token for the lexer, right? It's kind of like smaller equals bigger. Um, turns out you can actually write valid code today in C17 where you have this token sequence. Anyone? You can define a smaller or equals operator and then pass the address of that operator as a template parameter to a non-type template <laughs> parameter. <laughs> and that is going to break. Because now it's going to be lexed as differently. Uh, next one is my favorite. So um, it turns out um, you have a struct foo, and you want to make sure that people cannot instantiate that, right? It's not meant to be instantiated. So how do you do that? You delete the default constructor. But it turns out that because of the rules in C17, this thing is an aggregate type. And because of the rules of aggregate initialization, if you aggregate initialize it with brace brace, you can still initialize it. So that is going to compile in C17. Um, we fixed that now for C20. Um, so we basically redefined what an aggregate is. So that's not going to compile anymore. If you do this kind of stuff, it's going to break. If you want to know more about initialization, come to my talk tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, right. Um, this thing. We have a template class. And then uh, it's foo. It's called foo. And then we use foo somewhere inside. Um, turns out we can just completely redundantly just repeat the uh, kind of template parameter. Well, that's not really useful, right? So that's not going to compile anymore. Remember those? Anyone still uses them? Hands up? No? Great. Because in C++20, that's not going to compile anymore. And for the last thing, Here's a few standard library things that are going to be removed so that they will not compile anymore in C++ 20. And now I want to do a thing. So everyone who uses whatever is on the screen, please raise your hand. Anyone uses std uncode exception? That's not going to compile anymore in C++ 20. What about raw storage iterators? Anyone using raw storage iterators? Well, great, because they're not going to compile anymore. Do you use that? No? What about temporary buffers? Yep. OK, sorry, your code is going to break. You have two years to fix it, so that's all right. Um, shared put to unique, that's probably a bit more frequent. Yeah, so nope. And uh, finally, is literal type? Yeah, sorry, guys, and other people, everyone. And finally, result of. Yep. 
that's also going to break. Right, um, that's all I have. Thank you.